Giorgio ASMR. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Giorgio, your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, and I'm back with another video. And this one is gonna be a little bit different, and I know you're probably wondering, why are you doing this video in black and white? Well, the reason I'm doing this video like this is to show you guys that it's important for all races to work together because if one race is hating the other then this world will lose life you know there will be no life and that's why i got this in black and white and you know i am a black person and i feel like i can't have a platform regardless of what size it is and not speak on the issues that are going on with my culture and my people and so you know today's video is going to be really about why we shouldn't be afraid to use our platforms to speak up about what's going on in this country in this world and the and the biggest problem is racism you know and the thing is you guys um you know we can't run away from the issues that we have we can't run away from the problems that we have personally, emotionally, mentally, you know, or even racially right now, you know, we have to stand up and, and, and fight, you know, because like, you know, and I've learned this at an early age, you know, when I was dealing with bullying because, you know, I got bullied because, you know, of my smell and my teeth. And I had to see these bullies every single day and you know and the funny thing about it was it wasn't even white people that were bullying me it was my own people but i understand that they were children and they didn't know any better and it also deals with how their parents raised them and believe it or not you all we got a lot of parents that are raising their children to be racist and that's the way it is right now and and then of course you just got a lot of people with that old slave mentality of trying to hold people down and i know this is a gaming channel slash entertainment channel but i have to call it for what it is and talk about the real stuff you know from time to time you know we can't pretend like this is not existing and i feel like it does not hurt for anybody especially people with big platforms who have known black people who support their platforms who support their products and or whatever it is that they decide to put out i feel like it should be it should be natural for them to want to use their platform to say something encouraging to let everybody know that hey i appreciate my black viewers my black uh supporters my black customers uh workers whatever it is and I'm, and the thing is, you guys, it's another thing. Just because we have Black Lives Matter hashtag training, it's not to single, it's not to divide us or make it seem like black people are better than anybody else or better than any other race for that matter. It's so that we can be treated just as good as the other races. I want to tell you all about the new news. We just found out that the uh, police officer that killed George Floyd, he has now been charged with second degree murder instead of third degree. And the other police officers have been charged as well. Now, the thing is, we gotta hope that they do more. We gotta hope that they keep this person behind bars for a long period of time, you know, and, you know, we also, you know, got to just keep spreading the word and you guys just be safe out there for those of you who are protesting, those of you who are destroying stuff, just know that's really not gonna, we don't, that's not necessary anymore, you know, our voices are being heard and of course, I, it, it, it's crazy how it took all of this craziness, all this protest and rioting for justice to be served in that matter um but you know we gotta stay on top of everything and we gotta just keep the spring awareness and shout out to all the good white people out there who have been using their platforms to speak up i've been seeing my friend elliot um brooks she's been making you know multiple po posts out there trying to help fix stuff and help educate people and stuff and so big shout out to her she's been a good friend of mine for a couple of years now and um 
So it's good to see that. It's good to see Holly too. She's been really cool. My friend Holly on Instagram, she's been making posts too. To continue to use your platforms to help us so that black people can start be treated just as good as the other races in this country, you know? Because at the end of the day, like I said, this video is black and white. When none of, when we all when we don't have that support, when we don't love each other, this world loses all its color. And that's never a good thing. And um, for all you social media influencers out there, please just continue. Please learn about what's going on. Read books about the history of America and the racial issues that are going on in this country. And then I think you will all learn a lot. You will learn to appreciate, you know, black lives. And most important, you'll learn to be more compassionate. And it never hurts to use your platform for good. And if you lose followers or endorsements or sponsors or whatever, who cares? Because at the end of the day, you know, you're doing what's right. And I think that will make you more love and respect. And I think all of this stuff that's going on right now will help. It will really define our legacy. It will go way beyond any video, any kind of awards or accolades that we ever get. But anyways, that's just my thoughts. I'm glad that George Floyd, his family is finally seeing justice in some way. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm glad a lot of people are donating and to these funds to help people who get locked up for peaceful protesting. I've also donated to some stuff to, uh, you know, to two charities uh, today, you know, and um, I'm going to continue to spread awareness. So you all please be safe out there. Look out for each other. And I'll keep bringing some positive content both on YouTube and on my Twitter. So anyways, I love all of you guys. Thanks for being so loving and supportive. Peace out.